off and yeah i have no idea what i'm doing now i'm gonna assume the majority of you clicked on this for a typical siege video in today's video i wanted to review my own footage of me playing rainbow six siege this week uh, i do think reviewing your own footage as a whole can make you a better player and can probably point out some of the stupid stuff you're doing or reasons why you won the match in the first place whether it be a win a fail an ace big brain play or your teammates just throwing like they normally do. Let's just get right into the video. Our first clip of the video will be a 1v5 with Ayana on border. And shockingly enough, I normally never give callouts during solo queue, so obviously that is something I need to fix. And I know a lot of you are judging me right now. So chill. So I drone out towers in bathroom and it's clear, so I'm finna make a move. And as quickly as I make a move, it gets to a 1v5 real quick. And look at this, a minute and 18 seconds into the match and they are speed running us. It's already a 1v5. With bathrooms clear, I know that's where I need to go, but peep how quiet it gets after I shoot the camera. Well, would you look at that? The fun has begun, and I'm about to get bang broed by the five stooges. All right, now back to the clip. That last kill was pretty satisfying. And it gets to the 1v1 with Spooky Boy Vigil himself, and he is not moving a single inch. I'm trying to do quick peeks, although I realized after watching it, I am definitely not quick peeking. I'm more like doing the worm. I'm over here doing replicator fake outs. I'm ready to shoot anything that even breathes, farts, anything. Why don't you stop hiding, you f Even after realizing that I even had a drone posting out there, no one spotted him? My name is Jeff. So even after seeing that, knowing that he's right next to me in Tower's office, you would think I would secure the dog? But no. So despite getting granted the easy 1v5 ace when everyone decided to run down the hallway, I decided to... I think I got kill hungry on that one. I think even when I knew where he was with the drone, there was too many possibilities although maybe that might be an excuse because he could have easily just left out could have sat there he could have he could have did anything so maybe i was thinking he was somewhere else instead of just in the corner so simple so 1v2 with legion Ash and acer are on site and it's looking like the end game so they're gonna look for a plan now since i was droned out going there prior to coming up the main stairs I didn't really feel pressured to keep pushing per se, so it was more of like either I push through the doorway where they have the best cover or just go where they came from since Ace made the breach on the balcony side anyway. Now for this 1v, I'm just gonna let it play as you'll see why in a little bit. What just happened? I knew the ass was out of the room. The only thing why I was even probably doing that little Harlem Shake uh, peeking was that I didn't know if there was a rotate there or not. There was, but since the lesion mine went off, I knew she was at green stairs. That was the only reason why I went to defuse it. 
just because of that purpose. I knew Ash probably took a gamble right then and there to say, maybe rotate how I did to Ash or to Ace. I think that's what maybe that she was doing. But nonetheless, I could have positioned myself better towards the rotate to get the kill if she came running back. Quick. Going on into the next clip, we have a very risky play that I achieved with Mute doing the shotgun SMG 11 combo. The only reason why I was going to watch those there is just because it's it's pretty unknown to attackers. If you can, say, shut off their drones and then they have to go upstairs, they pretty much are at a, you know, line of sight disadvantage, height disadvantage, and you can pretty much get an easy kill unless you're Ash or somebody with a ridiculous gun. But coming along as the match progresses, I start to see that the push is actually coming from above the throne room and the only way to get through is to go to the waiting room and since they're now starting to attack that wall i decided to make a power play and push the vault ultimately you do see that i actually give myself a couple seconds to really think about this decision to make the rotate into vault to push through and hopefully you know get a kill or two or to just you know anchor those yellow stairs and make sure no one uh, crosses Mozzie on site. And as always, as it gets to the good part, I'm just gonna let the video play out. And this should highlight the fact that rotates, map control are always key. Our last and final clip of the video is a Monty showdown with everybody. I'm talking, my teammates practically don't exist. It says 3v4, but they literally do not exist for the rest of the whole match. It's actually insane. But as big of a mess as this clip is, I'm just gonna let it play out and come back after the clip. See ya.
That ending was pretty toxic, not gonna lie. Going back straight into the clip. Get me chasing down Ye to try and isolate him. I see Bandit is in the hallway. Dylan. Literally. So the crazy part is she's choosing to stand back and just watch me get bullied. And she could easily cross Bandit. Hello there. Interesting part about that is that Kate decides to pop out of the bakery door and now I know exactly where all three members are. So seeing that the opportunity arises, I decided to, you know, isolate Jaeger as best I can and get the free kill. And I didn't even know he was actually that hurt. So that was a huge bonus. Looky who. Look at Ash. I like what do you guys do when y'all play Ash, man? Do y'all just straight <laughs> I tried to get the refrag, but for some reason it just runs off instead of just trying to, I guess, waste time. But I think the key factor in this is that they were too... They were aggressive, but not aggressive enough. What I'm saying is, the only reason why I was able to clutch this is that I was able to isolate them and get a 1v1 every single time. Every single time. All right, so bomb is planted. K realized that time is not on his side, and he is starting to put the pressure on me. Honestly, I don't know. When I play Monte, I don't really, I don't. Know, I just don't sit in the corner with him. I know I could, but I just feel like when I dealt with Monte, we always end up getting him. But then again, it's only one person. I could have just sat in the corner the whole time. But then again, with 51 health, and I would say at least two to three bullets of damage, maybe could have got lucky. I don't even know if he has a nitro, but the fact. After watching the video itself, I guess he didn't have it, which was all in the dub. Alright, so that's gonna wrap it up with my clip review. Tell me what you think in the comment section below. Make sure you show some love on the video by smashing that like button. And as always, stay got